Three Stuart Steam Plants Boiler Works, Part 6. Reassembling the first of the 501 boilers, fitting copper shim washers on the water gauge, rethreading the pressure gauge siphon bush for a new siphon, and I'm using Loctite 542 on all threads to seal them. Because owing to corrosion, the threads are all slightly undersized. Another benefit of using Loctite 542, apart from its sealing ability, is it separates the metals from each other. In this case, it's not very important because the metals are all the same. There are no more aluminium washers. The water gauge thread wasn't very good. It was quite small at 3 sixteenths by 40, so I opened it out and re-threaded it a quarter by 40 threads per inch. This means I'm able to fit a brand new siphon, which uses quarter by 40 threads per inch on the Banjo Union fitting. I built a steam plant a while back for a man in California and he sent me a lot of useful things and I'm very grateful for this. These boxes of parts really are good. There are a few of these boxes and most of the fittings are from PM Research in the USA but the shim washers came from Blackgate's Engineering. Here's the brand new siphon I'm going to use and I've temporarily fitted it with washers. As I want to perform a hydraulic test on these boilers, I'm not going to fit the pressure gauge or siphon at this stage. I'm just fitting a temporary pressure gauge to show you the effect, although I think I'll probably turn it round so the gauge is in the middle when I do fit the final gauge, which won't be this one, because it's wonky. I've never seen a pressure gauge like this. Maybe it's going to be a collector's item. It's always a good idea to use a copper washer when you fit the safety valve. In this case, I will be using a silicone o-ring to make it very easy to remove to fill the boiler because there isn't a hand pump. I'm going to be pressure testing this boiler so this safety valve will be removed for the test. And I'll use a blanking plug in the bush where the siphon fits. In this clip I'm applying some Loctite 542 to the stainless steel adapter that fits in the boiler. And here I'm loosely fitting the tap to see where it ends up when it's tightened down. The steam tap isn't a very tight fit on the thread insert, but that's because the threads are very small. The good news is it doesn't need a washer. Screwed down into the bush, it's in exactly the position that I need it to be. This boiler is going to be used for supplying steam to the vintage Stuart 10H engine, which has a water pump. And this boiler in the plant will be positioned behind the engine. Now it's fun time, aligning the water gauge fittings, making sure that when they are tightened up, they are in the right position relative to each other. Believe it or not, it actually took four attempts to get the right combination of shim washers so it ended up in the right position. And even when I finished the job and looked at the video edit, I noticed that the bottom fitting ended up not in the right position, but only very slightly. I will adjust this later. I intend to use thick-walled, small diameter glass tubing fitted using silicone o-rings. So there is a bit of tolerance because the glass tubing is not tight in the water gauge nuts. Once I've assembled all three boilers, I'm going to give them a hydraulic test, so I'll look at little things like this later. I found a really good shim washer for the lower water gauge fitting, and here it's been screwed in place using Loctite 542. The video wasn't very good for this bit because my hand was in the way. I've shown how to fit water gauges in many videos, this is just another example. I'm using a needle file to score the glass, then I snap it off and remove the sharp edges with a piece of wet or dry sandpaper. Here's a short piece of glass tube and one of the nuts ready to fit to the water gauge. The hole for the inspection plug was not in very good condition, so I re-threaded it 3 sixteenths by 40 threads per inch. Then I fitted the inspection plug once again using Loctite 542. This will fill all the gaps and seal it perfectly. I'm not using a washer, it's unnecessary. And besides, the overhang of the washer looks unsightly anyway. Now it's time to fit the check valve using the same technique as fitting the water gauge. 
have found a suitable shim washer and tightened it in place with some Loctite 542 and dropped a stainless steel ball into the valve. This is getting a little bit repetitious, but I used some Loctite 542 on the top cap and screwed that into place. A washer isn't required if you use Loctite 542. Normally I would use copper washers on most things, but on these old Stuart boiler fittings I don't think they look very good. I definitely need to adjust the position of the lower water gauge fitting. But it's not right, I'll do that in a future episode, after I've performed a hydraulic test on this and the two other boilers. The discrepancy is very small. But that's not the point, if a job's worth doing it's worth doing well. And on that note I'd like to say stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.